हेलो स्टूडेंट्स और नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द आईसीएस गाइडलाइंस फॉर असेसमेंट ऑफ हर्बल ड्रग्स सो इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द डब्ल्यू एच ओ गाइडलाइंस फॉर द हर्बल ड्रग राइट सो देयर दीज आर द गवर्निंग बॉडी विच विल लुक आफ्टर द असेसमेंट ऑफ हर्बल ड्रग्स वर्ल्ड वाइड राइट सो इन वेन वी टॉक अबाउट द आई सी एस गाइडलाइंस इट इज़ नथिंग बट इंटरनेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑन हारमोनाइजेशन राइट सो द इंटरनेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑन हारमोनाइजेशन ऑफ टेक्निकल रिक्वायरमेंट for the registration of pharmaceuticals or pharmaceutical medicine for human use right so that's what this ICH it was established in 1990 so that we should know right in 1990 it was established as a joint regulatory project right so it was a joint regulatory project in the form of that what for it was for the to improve the efficiency of process of registering new medicinal products so it may be herbal drug right in europe japan and the united state or in the this three country first uh, this was established uh, it is the link between the regulatory bodies and pharmaceutical industry so they basically this ach ich is the nothing but uh, link between the uh, regulatory bodies and the uh, uh, pharmaceutical industry so what was the objective when we talk about so they are it is having certain objective uh, this is the first of all this is for the safety right so when we talk about the safety parameters uh, uh, first of all any herbal drug when it will come into the market it should be safe if it is not safe what will happen instead of giving the effect it will give you the side effect or adverse reaction then at the same time whatever the ingredient it is there it should be having the quality one right if it is not the quality products again it is going to be the problematic and it will not fulfill the uh standards or therapeutic value efficacy when we talk about uh, if it is uh, safe and if it is quality one also but at the same time it should give the uh, particular activity if it is meant for uh, anti diabetic so it should be able to reduce the blood sugar and the urine sugar level right if it is for anti inflammatory it should able to reduce the inflammation right so that is actually the intention uh at the same time it should be able to decrease the difference in guidelines so there are certain guidelines available uh in the world wide in the international level or in the national level so there should not be the difference if it is for the assessment of the herbal drug it should be uh having the proper types of objective and uh, it should have the most of the similarities right then only it will be uh, going to fulfill the public health uh, world wide at the same time it should be able to decrease the difference in regulatory authorities so there are different regulatory authorities available in regional wise country wise all right or maybe uh, asian regulatory authorities european regulatory authorities so there are lots of difference into their uh, uh, rules regulations and uh, procedure so that difference should not be there and uh, it, they should be uh, go through the similar uh, rules and regulation and all those thing uh it should achieve the harmonization worldwide first of all the intention the name itself is international conference on harmonization so it should be harmonized able to harmonize worldwide in the in the in the respect of uh, sales uh, in the respect of uh, effectiveness and uh, in the quality of the different medicament or herbal drugs a uh, good quality of herbal drugs it's very very important that is also that is only the intention to have these kinds of governing body the whatever the herbal drugs it is coming into the market or in herbal drug trade that should have it should not be quality compromise that's what uh, the rules regulations the quality parameter safety parameter if it is uh, framed properly strictly screened then only we can ensure the quality one international harmonization uh, in the respect of technical requirement for the registration of new drug that is also one of the objective that is the main objective actually right and it should be able to eliminate the unnecessary delay so there was a, the, there will be the so many delay into the uh, approval process uh, and uh, it will go to one office to another office and uh, somewhere it will be stuck because of this requirement is not there that particular thing has not been done clinical trial pre clinical trial those things so if it will be clear the rules and regulations it has been framed properly and if it is clear it will not stop anywhere and the approval process will become very fast 
देन प्रोमोट पब्लिक हेल्थ अल्टीमेटली गोल इज टू प्रोमोट पब्लिक हेल्थ एट वर्ल्ड वाइड इट शुड नॉट बी ओनली फॉर दी वन स्टेट वन कंट्री इट शुड बी फॉर वर्ल्ड वाइड सो दैट्स वॉट इट्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नाउ वेन वी टॉक अबाउट हियर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दी क्यू एस ई एम गाइडलाइंस राइट सो वॉट इज वॉट यू मीन बाई क्यू एस ई एम इट इज क्वालिटी सेफ्टी इफिकेसी एंड मिसलेनियस गाइडलाइंस राइट सो वेन वी टॉक अबाउट क्वालिटी गाइडलाइंस एट दस द नेम इंडिकेट द गाइडलाइंस इज बीन गिवन फॉर दी टू इंश्योर द क्वालिटी ऑफ द पर्टिकुलर हर्बल ड्रग हार्मोनाइजेशन अचीवमेंट ऑफ क्वालिटी एरिया इंक्लूड्स क्यू वन क्यू टू क्यू थ्री लाइक दैट सो मेनी गाइडलाइंस गिवन सो वॉट क्यू वन सेस लाइक क्यू वन इज फॉर द स्टेबिलिटी टेस्टिंग ऑफ द हर्बल ड्रग राइट सो वेदर आफ्टर लॉन्चिंग इन टू द मार्केट आफ्टर फॉर्मुलेशन और मैन्युफैक्चरिंग वेदर इट इज स्टेबल और नॉट हाउ लॉन्ग इट इज गोइंग टू बी स्टेबल इन बिटवीन ऑल्सो आफ्टर वन ईयर आफ्टर सिक्स मंथ आफ्टर टू ईयर वी आर गोइंग टू टेक द सैम्पल रैंडमली एंड वी आर गोइंग टू चेक इट्स स्टेबिलिटी इन द फिजिको केमिकल प्रॉपर्टी इट्स बायोलॉजिकल प्रॉपर्टी इट्स अदर टेम्परेचर पी एच all those things there are long list of uh, this so this this all has been given in the q1 when we talk about q2 guidelines q2 guidelines that is for the quality again analytical validation so when we do analysis for the particular medicine particular herbal drug so there are uh, there has to be so much of validation so what kind of validation has to be done those things will be there in this q3 is the impurity testing so there are impurity which may form which may be there along with the crude drug or along with the herbal drug so those impurity how it has to be determined how it has to be tested and what is the limit it is given so that should be clear q5 suggesting about the pharmacopoeial harmonization right so there are different pharmacopoeia available in the different different country like ip bp usp so those uh, has to be harmonized they should follow the same kinds of order same kinds of methods standard one superior one that's what Q6 is a specification of new drugs, uh, whereas Q7 say, uh, say about good manufacturing products, right? Then Q8 is telling about the pharmaceutical development of any medicament. Then Q9 quality risk management. Q10 pharmaceutical quality system. So each and every uh, guidelines it is suggesting something some uh, different for the uh, assessment of the herbal drug. When we talk about safety parameters, safety guidelines, so it will start abbreviated with the S. as the name safety start from s so s1 s1 is uh, what it is suggesting carcinogenic study when we talk about carcinogenic study in the herbal drug there are uh, so many uh, active ingredient it is being used so any of the active ingredient it is having carcinogenicity whether it is harmful or it is going to uh, create any kinds of uh, adverse reaction into the body that has to be determined scientifically so that we can say that this much amount can be pass or this much amount may be toxic right s2 genotoxicity study right genetic material that's what geno geno means genes so genetic material like dna rna nucleic acid that has to be tested properly studied properly s3 toxicokinetic and pharmacokinetics s4 toxicity testing right toxicity is very very important uh, it is that's what we do clinical trial pre clinical uh, and uh, in clinical trial also phase 1 phase 2 it's uh, it's a uh, just for the to know about the toxicity profile adverse profile right so that's what uh, s5 is suggesting reproductive toxicity toxicology then s6 suggesting about the or uh, guiding about the biotechnological products uh, right vaccine sera and all those thing right s7 pharmacological studies s8 and s9 immunotoxicity toxicology studies so these all parameters will be giving the guidelines to assess the herbal drug in safety parameters then uh, third one is the efficacy right so when we talk about the efficacy parameters uh, there are certain series of guidelines once again e1 and e2 is telling about clinical safety right that's what e3 clinical study report right whatever the clinical study after launching into the market with the different volunteers human volunteers what kind of uh, adverse effect uh, adverse reaction side effect is is being noted nausea vomiting dizziness hair fall all those thing has to be noted down e4 it is suggesting about dose response study right whenever any drug it is given in during the clinical trial what after giving the um, uh, low dose medium dose high dose what is the response of patient that has to be studied properly those guidelines has been given in the e4 e5 when we talk about ethnic factors uh, e6 good clinical practice 
E7 to E11, it is telling about the clinical trial, phase 1, phase 2, phase 3, phase 4, post-marketing surveillance, right? So, these kinds of study it is involved. Uh,